Hey, this is Dana White from the UFC, and you're watching ProMMANow.com. Hey, guys, Dan the Wolfman here for ProMMANow.com with the veteran fighter, Joey Villasenor. How's it going, sir? Uh, doing good, man. Doing real good. Uh, what are you here for? You're here to support your teammates and, and Julie Kedzie and Sarah yeah, Kaufman? We had uh, uh, three teammates fighting, and, of course, Sarah Kaufman, which would be four. So, And then, you know, Jules is uh, a veteran, and me and her are like team captains, uh, veterans uh, on our team, and we got each other's back, man. Jules uh, one of my, my best friends, so I'm just out here to support her. She seems like a great girl, hard worker, also very smart, good commentator, gives good interviews. So. I'm a big Julie Kedzie supporter. I've been following her, following you for a very long time. Um, speaking of, you know, old school, you know, I started back in like 98 when I fought. I think that's about when you started as well. Yep, I believe my first bout was in 1998 uh, when uh, this sport was frowned upon and you were looked at as a, uh, at as a crazy animal, you know. NHB, no holds barred days. Uh, the punch into the balls and like the three-way classes. Yep. Head butts. <laughs> oh man, stomps. It was crazy, man. It was crazy. I had I had a guy leg lock position with shoes on, heeling down on my head. So that that was my fun moment. With shoes. With shoes That's awesome, shoes man. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's 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 been an, an amazing journey just watching uh, the sport progress and and mature and where it's at now. Like my teammate uh, Bones just got endorsed by Nike and. Uh, 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 back when I was fighting back then, I, I, I didn't see that ever being a possibility. I thought it was going to be... Since stopped. you brought it up and you called him your boy, yep. Ariel Hawani said that's only a $20,000 a year deal. Did you hear that? You know, I didn't. I didn't hear... Um, I can't believe that. I, I don't think hear, that's true. I didn't hear money-wise. Um, but when I talked to Bones, I said it's not even about money right now. It's about that. That's where the sport's going. Like you're the first one to get that type of endorsement for our sport. That's humongous. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? We're mainstream. It's yeah, there. exactly. Like, yeah, I mean, you way. got you got the Nike logo now in the UFC. Like that is huge, man. That's huge. So uh, re regardless on money, it's just the whole statement and the whole fact that the sport is moving into an elite direction, you know, and it's uh, it's awesome, man. It's awesome to be a part of it. Don't you feel like uh, you're a part of this? Like a little bit. I'm doing it. I'm back in it now, and I'm trying to be part of it, and, you know, I, I love it. I've seen the growth. I, I actually wrote an article for the, the Hook and Shoe Revolution show, the first one, yeah. which I think is how Julie Kedzie got into it. I think she saw a DVD of the first one and maybe fought on the second one. I don't remember. Yeah. But, uh, so, yeah. Hook and Shoots back in the day, yep, and... Uh, you Name some of the places you fought. You fought, just name off ten... Uh, let me see. Ten. IFC, uh, a couple of smaller promotions. Uh, I fought in the Deep, uh, Pride, uh, Elite, Strike Force. Uh, I was KOTC champ for like five straight defenses, and then uh, um, shoot, I know I'm missing a couple of more because there's a Obama. Oh, there's a just. I've been all over the place. I always saw you were a tough, well-rounded guy with a heck of a right hand, right? You yep. know, wrestling ability, overall ability, scrappy. You're willing to get in there with just about anyone and yep. throw down in, in, a, in a good, hard, exciting fight. Yep. I just, uh, you know, I mean, uh, I love competing, you know, and uh, I love to fight. I love competing. And uh, my last fight with Strike Force was uh, with uh, Souza, you know, Jacare. And uh, I showed everybody in that fight because Jacare was just was one round winning just sub, sub after sub. I just showed everybody my heart and who I am, you know, and, and uh, it'll go down for me as one of my best performances ever, even though I did take the loss, you know, like there, I was gaining momentum and he was such a heavy favorite that I can look back on that fight and just be proud of my effort, you know. And well, I'm sure he's a heavy favorite tonight. We'll see how he does tonight. So. Yep, yeah, uh, you know, he's it's fighting. Hard to uh, fight those kind of elite level jujitsu skills, really, if he manages to put it in his world. Exactly. You know, Jacare is, uh, and of course, one of my teammates, Brian Stan. When those guys, uh, when my buddy Brian Stan dropped to 85, so I was fighting 85 for 14 years. I was like, it's maybe it's time to drop to 70. So. At 36 years old, I decided to drop down to 70. I see a light at the end of the tunnel. You yeah. know, I see that my career, I see that light now, you know, and- you uh, A few, few good scraps I, left. You know what? Why not go for broke at 170? So I'm checking out 170, um, still really competitive, and we'll see how it goes. You want to talk about working on striking at, at Winkle Johns? The guys are very diverse. Something I like, I've perpetuated a lot, is using the oblique kicks, the side kicks to the knee. Even though I think it was used, one of the fights earlier, a side kick to the knee. 
kind of drop the guy, and that might be a no contest. I think California is one of the two states that's illegal. You can't do that in, yeah. That's but, what I heard, too. Yeah, but Condit and, and John Jones use a lot. I'm assuming that comes from, like, Winks, right? Or, you know, it just comes from, and here's the thing about our coaching staff is, is they don't give you a formula and say this is how you do it. They adjust to your strengths. So my striking with my coach is not going to be the same striking okay. that Bones gets. Everybody works off of your strengths at our gym. So if I'm strong at, at uh, boxing, then, then we'll work on that aspect. Yeah, we have all these uh, techniques that, that everybody should know and, and should be well versed in. But for the most part, our coach is going to see where your strengths are and they're going to build off of that, you know, and then they're going to see, of course, the film of your opponent and what could be established in that fight and then work on those. Details. So there's a lot of individual attention, but like sparring wise, do you guys have set days that you spar hard Monday, Wednesday, Saturday? Do you have any kind of ritual like that? Yeah, of course, our sparring days are Tuesdays and Thursdays, those T days, you know, um, those are sparring days and uh, those are great tough days, you know, I mean, uh, at Jackson's uh, Winkle John Submission Academy, you're gonna have a who's who every day, man. Like, like you know, it's just it's mind blowing the the competition and the guys that are always in that gym. That's why we stay elite and stay tough. Is there's always a, a great array of skill sets in there, you know. Um, um, going at it, you know, and uh, you you can't help but to, it's either it's either sink or swim, you know, when you're in the gym. So. Uh, we, you know, we're very blessed to have that kind of talent. Coming some gym wars that are probably worse than some of the fights. What's that? Some gym wars that might be worse than some of the fights sometimes. Sometimes, every once in a while. That's usually when a newbie comes in. You know, he doesn't really understand. Like, they're really intimidated sometimes when they see uh, Bones walking yeah. around. There's Andre over there, and there, you know, there's Carlos over there. They get really intimidated, so they go a high intensity. You know, but it usually lasts like for a round and a half because of our elevation, and then that. Uh, that altitude kicks in and it slows them down a little bit, but but for the most part, um, everybody's really cool and understands a, a, a nice hard pace. What do you think about Travis Brown? I interviewed him a couple weeks ago. You expect big things from him? Travis is great, man. He's only the thing about Travis is is uh, he's just getting better, man. He's he's a great family man. He loves his kids, uh, and that's the one thing that sticks out to me the most. He's a great fighter, but man, he he loves his kids. You know, he's a good dude. So it's always good to be like that. And, and Sarah Kaufman, and I just got a tough test ahead of her. I've been a Sarah Kaufman fan for a long time. I've even shouted her out in, in instructional videos, you know, because she uses a double jab one one two really well. What, what do you think she's got to do to make it happen against, you know, the, the beast that is Ronda as far as clinching and, you know, armbar? Well, we all know, we all know that uh, Ronda's, she's champ, she's great. Um, but we all want to see what happens after one. You know what I'm saying? After she gets tagged, that after, once it's a real battle. After the first round. She's been finishing her fight so consistently in the first round at a high intensity. Can she have that intensity for five rounds? You know, we want to see what, what the, our champs are really made of. She's great. She's a great athlete. You know, she's, she's, a, she's a champ for a reason. You know? Do you think Kaufman's got enough strength to, to battle it out with her? I mean, people don't, you know, that power slam out of the armbar knockout is rampage style. I mean... I'm curious to see if she can fight off the clinch. If she, if, you know, hopefully the footwork. I'm sure hands and everything you guys worked on, but I'm curious strength-wise what she can do. Yeah, me too. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I, I kind of wonder what she's going to be doing too. You know, I mean, uh, we all know where Sarah's strengths are. It's her hands, you know, and keeping distance. So uh, it's going to be, you know, Ronda throws too, man. She throws down and she, she really puts an effort in on her punches so she can get a clinch right off of it. So. It's going to be exciting to see. Very exciting, guys. Thank you very much. I enjoy talking to an old school veteran who's done everything like yourself. So, guys, go to ProMMAnow.com and uh, subscribe to myself, Dan the Wolfman, YouTube, Twitter, and yourself. Uh, Joey Bissignor uh, on Facebook, man. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Bye.